Welcome to another toy review by yours truly, Master Geo. Today we will be looking at the Mezco 1 to 12 Collective Superman based on Richard Donner's 1978 classic starring Christopher Reeve. Now, first off, you'll notice that the figure this time comes in a tin, which is really freaking cool. It has artwork inspired by one of the film posters. So this is one front side, you can see it's got the Mezco lo Toys logo, of course it's got the Superman shield, a couple of copyrights, the movie logo up top as you probably saw before is the S shield and at the bottom, uh, nothing really. All right, so let's open this up. If you take off the top, you will uh, see the contents and you can grab it from the sides, pull it up, and uh, we'll get to the figure right now. So here it is, is in its display. Let's turn it around so you get a better look at it. With all its accessories. And its base, which is of course from the Fortress of Solitude. Inside the tin you will find the action figure's base, which is again that movie logo, and instructions on how to put the batteries. This toy lights up, so you'll uh, need a screwdriver to get to it, so be sure you got that one in handy when you ready to put this together. So here we got a look at the figure. As you can see, it's based on the likeness of Christopher Reeve and it is 100% on point. The accessories that come with it, which is different hands, kryptonite, different heads, the aforementioned standing base, or the alternate Fortress of Solitude with crystals base. Figure is 100% accurate. This is a gorgeous figure, as is always the case with Mezco's 1 to 12 collective figures. He has cloth clothing, and he's got pegs under his feet. So, the head turns a full 360. You can also move the head up and down. We have joints at the elbows. Figure can move 360 degrees, but you should never, as with other figures of this, uh, this type, don't push it too hard because there's a certain point where the figure will kind of lock, I, mostly because of the material, and you don't want to turn it too hard because you don't want the material to break. But there's a decent amount of movement. You can lift up the arms. The arms, of course, there is a... Uh, 360 degree swivel at the elbows, but also lift up the arm, and there is of course another swivel at the shoulder, which again, there's a certain point where you will feel tension and you don't want to push it beyond that. There is side to side hip movement, and front back hip uh, movement as well as 360 which again don't push it too hard because you don't want the fabric to rip. Legs will bend, open, you've got knee articulation uh, forward and back
both, of course. You have ankle articulation, though it's very tight, so it's only a, so not too much in, as far as ankle articulation goes. And uh, most cool of all is there is wire on the cape, which will allow for some cool poses for your Superman figure. Simulate flight. It's actually one of my favorite features here. It's for a very uh, cinematic poses. So that you can do a lot of the classic Superman poses. So here we have the open hand pair. They look pretty cool. Perhaps he's going to reach out to something or stop something. We then have these flat hands, which are great for flying positions that you might want to put him in. We also have these slightly more closed, slightly open pairs of hands. One thing I want to mention is that I really like the way that the hands snap on and off very easily. They feel snug and secure, and better than some of the other figures I've purchased in the past. Which isn't to say that those weren't good, I just think this one feels really nice at the wrist articulation. We then have this slightly more closed hand which is perfect for holding up the crystal which will come into play a little later when we move into the crystal base. So now we're going to go and switch out his head, which is, this is the regular head that comes with the figure packaged, with the other two alternate heads that come with it. First off, we've got this one, a slightly more, what would you say, stoic look? So that's the other head. Um, I like both. I'm not sure if I have a preference either or, but Let's try the third and final head on. Ow! I want to point out that, once again, the head snaps off really nice and easily, uh, and it fits nice and snug. So I'm going to say that this is definitely happy Christopher Reeve Superman. Um, I love the detail on all of these. Uh, the if You can see the wrinkles on the face, the eyes, the mouth. Um, it's just very lifelike. Um, I... I'm not sure which head will keep, or I'll keep as my display, but by the time this video is over, I will have figured it out. So now let's try out some of the other accessories that come with them, including Kryptonite, which if you put the semi in hand, you'll be able to hold it. And now Soups is holding pretty much poison, well, to him, but it makes for... A cool feature, of course, and uh, like all the other features, it helps you reenact scenes from the classic 1978 movie. Perhaps my favorite of all these accessories is the kryptonite necklace that comes with it. You can put it on your Superman, weaken him, just like Lex Luthor did in the aforementioned classic film. So now we're going to try out the regular base, that circular one, that most 1 to 12 collective figures would come with. Of course, he's got a peg on his foot, peg hole on the foot, in which the peg will enter. So that you'll be able to stand them up. The peg holds the figure nicely, allowing for a little more of a dramatic pose and 
especially with a character like Superman, where he flies, this attachment will come in really handy for some cool flying poses. Perhaps you want to pose him in a more floating stance. The clear plastic is so cool for this because from... It almost looks like your soups is flying. Which, of course, he kind of sort of is. Of course, you can put him in a far more classic flying pose as this one. And finally, here is the crystal base. Now, this is made from sturdy, heavy plastic. It's really cool looking, beautiful. As you can see, some of the crystals are translucent because that will come into play in the light up feature. There is no peg, but it's fine because your soups can stand on his own. Now, if you flip it over, you'll find the battery compartment. I want to point out that you have to obviously unscrew it. Uh, batteries come with the figure. Three, uh, three triple A's. Um, it feels as if the screw is very tight and won't loosen, but in actuality, it isn't. Um, here, it's fairly easy to open. Just keep an eye, and it will. Um, it wasn't anywhere near as tight as I thought it was, and I think that's important to mention. Now, the switch has an off and on position, uh, and a middle position. The First, let's take a look at what the on position gives you. Um, as you can see, it looks really cool. Uh, we're going to place our soups in there in a bit. And that's it. So the final feature we're going to take a look at is this crystal, which will go into the compartment that you can see right there, the hole. So we're going to Take this crystal. Whoops, it fell. Okay, so the bottom switch is now in the middle part and in the uh, midway, yes. And what's going to happen is when this gets introduced, it'll make it light up. Much like in the film. Uh, again, it's a uh, fun little feature that um, is movie accurate and uh, will just adds to the charm of this amazing figure. And there we go. That is my review of the Mezco 1 to 12 collective Superman based on Superman the movie from Richard Donner sorry Christopher Reeve. This is an amazing figure. I We'd say that this is definitely one of the definitive Superman figures, especially those based on the movie. If you're a Superman fan, a fan of that classic film, I think this is a must-have. It's a little steeper than some of the other Mezco figures, but with all the accessories it comes with, especially this beautiful light-up base, it is more than worth it. The detail, the costuming everything is great of course this is sold out at the mezco site so you're gonna have to do a little searching online and you may have to pay something of a premium price on it but if you want him in your collection he it will be worth it and he is definitely one i'm happy to have in my collection and i know that if you got it you'd be happy to have him yours this is master geo signing off hoping that you're all safe and having a good day. Take care and until next time, rock on.